Well, this particular gauge is gauge three, which is uh, a bit larger than uh, perhaps your um, your smaller stuff. But there again, uh, a garden railway um, has to be operated to a, a certain height, so you can mostly there's live steam. They can be coal fired. And as you can see from the various uh, locos and trains that have been going round, there's a variation of uh, different uh, methods of power. There's gas fired, coal fired, spirit fired, and, and some battery operated as well. The DMU was battery operated, which was going round. I built the railway originally about 24 years ago. Uh, it started to deteriorate um, and um, I rebuilt it again, I think five years ago now. The only trouble is with these tourist areas where it's popular, oh, you get yeah. so much traffic in, in oh, some yes. of the time you want to go. Like it's been thoroughly, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> thoroughly <laughs> everything. <laughs> You've got no chance. <laughs> That's what we need, MBEs for services to gauge three. The engine is uh, spirit fired. Mm -hmm. That V2 is uh, cold. No. Is this a regular group that you meet? Um, well, so it's kind of a bit mix and match, you know, whoever can come. How often do you meet? Yeah. Once every month or so. It just depends, you know, the meeting's about once a month. Is it throughout the year or just the summer? So. Um, spring, summer and autumn. The odd winter meeting. Are you a frequent visitor to Leicester then? Um, I, c I come t to uh, Thurnby, we used to live in Leicester. I discovered I'd actually done some business with Trevor 30 years ago, but uh, <laughs> really? all my life. What's your interest in this, Alan? Interest in railways, um, garden railways, yes. Uh, gauge 3, which is two and a half inch between the tracks, of course. Gauge 3 garden railways, yes. yes. Yeah, I've been a member of Gauge 3 Society since the uh, first meeting back in uh, 1990. King's Cross, we formed the Gauge 3 Society there. A few family members, and uh, it all took off from there. Mm. Yeah, been going quite a while now. Mm. Yeah. How often do you get up to Leicestershire then? Uh, usually twice a year to Travers here, yeah. And uh, I have um, two meetings for members at home a year, uh, plus the uh, boiler testing day, usually in March, at the beginning of the season. I'm um, one of the boiler inspectors for the society, so uh, we have quite a good gathering there. Everyone getting their low coast tested if they have to be ready for the season. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's usually well attended, and also they can have a run, once they've been checked over, they can have a run around the track as well at the same time. You know that one? Where do you want that one? problems with this one, huh? Well, this is on a, 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 spr a, a, a spring. And if it was on a straight piece of track, it would be much easier because it tensions up under the, the stress of the curve.
this one is a king scale ready to run. Most of the others are built by the people who are running them or built years ago, hand built one off. And there must be about a hundred of these in the country, of which maybe half a dozen uh, run. <laughs>